invest in it. It's an art and it is your art. And I think for me, I lived on the dole in my friend's house and I put it all on the line. I took the risk. I left a job that paid me. Yeah, you just got to keep going, man. You just got to like put it all on the line. Hey, I'm Graham Farmer, founder of Dance Music Magazine, Data Transmission. Before we jump into today's video with today's artist, one thing you can do to help me get this video out there and play the YouTube algorithm game is give the video a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps this video get more reach. Wicked, right. So yeah, on my YouTube channel, we have a series called Five Things Producers Need to Know and it's essentially five things you might tell your younger self. We've had so many amazing artists on there and they're all like, it goes completely wide. So some people have gone, like I was telling you before, like super production-y and gone into micro EQing and like mental stuff. And then some people have gone, you know, just life advice. And so I'd like to get yours, if it's possible, a few five things that producers need to know. I think it'd be quite nice to reflect on the whole stream and interview as well. So I think, I think one thing that I've spoke about a lot throughout this is simplicity. And I've said it about my lyrics, I've said it about my productions, and I've said it about my inspirations. So I think simplicity really is key. And I think the, the further you go on in music, the further you get there with it. It, it definitely has huge waves that you can either get absolutely battered by or ride them. And I think it's about riding them. But the, the, the key to it is simplicity because on them days where the rest of the world is trying complicate your mind to have input or opinion it can get really hard and we're all passionate so we will all fight for our opinion or whatever but i think it's just as long as you know it's the right thing because it's simple and everything's just simple around doing it it's all what comes to mind then that's that's the first instinct that's the right thing to do and it's the right thing to stand by i think so don't get too too held up on things and like let things bother you too much it should just all be simple Okay. I think the second one for me, the second one for me is patience. We spoke about new, um, new producers and, and, and other people asking for advice on how to finish records and should you get other people to do it. And I think that just comes with patience. I think if you decide to be the type of producer that sits in your bedroom or in your studio or whatever for, you know, till 4 a.m. every night, just going round on a loop, constantly trying to finish finish a track or constantly focusing on one bit it will never come to you like it's really hard to do that you can't get a larger perspective so i think you've got to be patient and sit back and let the ideas come to you let the inspiration come to you and look like if it, if you can't finish it it's probably not right it's probably mm. not the right song it's probably not the right thing you've probably not inspired enough to want to finish it but and also it's absolutely fine to get people to finish tracks as well like you can do that. You can you can collaborate with people and stuff like that if you if you do believe in it. If it's got all the things that I said, I think uh, the third one would be uh, what I said: simplicity. Yeah. So I'd say perseverance. I think like we spoke about it before. You would, we were talking about collabs, and I think you have got to persevere. Like I just spoke about the waves that you can get battered by him, but it really, really is waves. If you look at the likes of David Guetta or Calvin or these Ed Sheeran, these big people that we've got, you know, like you look at Ed Sheeran. Ed's not had all the best singles in the world. He does things that people don't see because they might not be a hit sometimes. Mm. So they're not considered as failures. It's just that they're not right in people's faces. It's the same with David Guetta. David Guetta releases, you know, 10 tracks a month maybe, like remixes or things that he's involved in that you don't notice. Mm. A couple of them have a massive breakthrough at some point and he streams crazy and then the wave rises and he's on top of it and it's all good. But what he does, he just perseveres throughout the wave. So when he has bad days, when things don't stream that well or do whatever that well, he won't see that. He just sees it as the job. He just sees it as music and you'll have good days and bad days. And I think that's such an amazing mindset to get yourself into. Be prepared for the ups and the downs and just enjoy the process of all of it. Um, it's like me now, like I went through a difficult time and now I'm just enjoying this headwind again. I've had years of tailwind and then enjoying this headwind again. And if we didn't have the, the not great days, then, you know, if, if all days were sunny, then you wouldn't have rainy days and then, nothing would be nothing it would just be always nice all the time mm. um so you've got to appreciate both sides of it 
I think the next one is invest in it. It's an art and it is your art. And I think for me, I lived on the dole in my friend's house and I put it all on the line. I took the risk. I left a job that paid me and I, I sat there and I just persevered on making music. I went like, I don't know, obviously I don't advise this, like <laughs> it's, it's to your own opinion, but it's, it's, it shows my immortality in the way of that my perseverance was so key mm. and the strength and yeah, you just got to keep going, man. You just got to like put it all on the line, be risky and it's worth it. Like just, just maybe it's time to turn your full focus onto music. Even when you think, Oh, but it might risk this. It might risk that. I think it's worth putting your full focus onto music. Honestly, number five is be likable and nice because if you, I learned this when I worked in a bar in Leeds and I've used it all the way through my life. And honestly, if you piss somebody off in that bar, you've kicked them out of the bar because you disagreed with a point or you've been a knob to them, then next minute that person turns out to be the head of a record label or that person turns out to be on the big person that you want to collab with next week or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think it's best. The music industry is full, full to the brim of politics. And <laughs> people are like, like, you know, like it's a bit like Love Island at times. So I think don't get involved. Just let everyone do whatever they want to do. Don't, don't start slagging people off because your friends are or because somebody else around you is just stay humble, stay genuine, believe in what you do. You're here for art. You're not here for any other reason. Although the free champagne and the red carpets are fun, just appreciate them <laughs> as a gimmick, not as your life. <laughs> and you'll be all right. <laughs> epic. Epic. That was amazing. Yeah. Thank so you. So I didn't like, I didn't want to go too production. No, yeah. no. I didn't cool. want to go too studio production focused because each to their own on that one. But I think for me working in this industry, there are the five things that, I've always tried to remember throughout my career. Weren't those five things great? Let me know in the comments which is your favourite and your biggest takeaway from this video. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you get notified every time we drop new videos. YouTube is now going to recommend another video to help your learning further. I hope you enjoy that one. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.